human body, is a versatile and extremely adaptable construction. It can be fashioned into, and operated like, various mechanisms. Depending, on the task at hand, a new kind of mechanism, is designed, and put to work. Designing a mechanism, for a particular task, is a full and open competition. Just like, with everything else, in life. Only few designs are any good. Anna's movement, is an example of a well-designed striking mechanism, effective and efficient. She is, by no means, unique, but she is one, of the very few, who do it right. Let's examine this mechanism, and what makes it work so well. Anna's stroke, is a two-stage process. First stage is called the thrust. The second part is the swing. These two stages are distinct, but, indivisible at the same time. In other words, the thrust, is the mother, of all swings. This is, the thrust portion of the stroke. The thrust, is not an, anemic, weight shifting, from one foot to another. This would accomplish nothing. The thrust is very compact, but very forceful action, which throws her weight, and causes her arms to swing. To generate, this thrust, Anna, carefully plants her feet, so she can comfortably push off. Her legs push off strongly, and, her torso is turned, and thrown forward, all at once. The swing of the arms, is the product of the thrust, generated by the legs. The torso, is thrown forward, with just enough force, to jumpstart her arms into the swing. And then it stops. Notice, that her torso, will remain stationary, throughout the swing stage, of the stroke. Once, her arms go into the swing. The arms are relaxed, and are simply freewheeling. They are propelled, or better, thrown into action by her torso. There is no interference from, her shoulder muscles. Using the shoulder muscles at this stage, will, only slow the swing down. After the initial push of the thrust, the arms will swing independently from the torso, through the contact with the ball. After the contact with the ball, the arms will naturally start slowing down, and wrap around the shoulders, dissipating the energy of the swing. As you can clearly see, her torso and legs do not move, throughout the swing action, and they maintain, a well-balanced position. That, simplifies the recovery, from the stroke. Doesn't it? This, is an example of, a different, striking mechanics. Maria, makes a very long stride forward. She, plants her feet, very far apart. This stance, makes it impossible, to push off the ground comfortably. She, does not generate the thrust, which can swing her arms. Instead, she moves through the stroke as one. Her torso, and, her arms, move, in tandem. Actually, her arms lead the way, and her hips and legs, follow. Her legs, hips and torso, never stop moving, throughout the whole stroke. They, contribute nothing to the stroke. They are more of a ballast, than a source of power. Because, there is no thrust, her arms do not swing, freely. She has to push, or to guide them, forward. She is muscling, the ball. Notice, how far in front she meets the ball. She is constantly reaching for it. Because, of these mechanical flaws, in her movements. Her strokes lack stability and consistency. She is hard pressed, to take chances, in order, to finish her points, as soon as possible.